Hello everyone! Exciting to see SpaceX is progressing fast with testing crucial components of future Starship systems SpaceX is developing. The work on Starship SN1 can finally start, or should I say has started, after the latest test SpaceX performed on Starship 9 meter test tank. The test tank withstood 7.5 bar pressure, which is sort of border certifiable for manned spaceflight. SpaceX is getting increased competence at building the massive steel parts that ultimately make the Starship launch system. Over the last four weeks and last few days in particular, that testing has come to a head and Elon Musk believes the result have opened the door for SpaceX to begin building its first space-bound Starship prototype. Although for SpaceX team, this was a learning curve, for after several failed, or should I say engineered to fail tests, the team behind Starship is getting all important know-how and knowledge that will allow SpaceX to build a next generation of launch vehicles that will see humanity to go beyond confines of this tiny blue planet we all call home. The work on Starship SN1, after extensive testing, has finally begun with SpaceX releasing only snippets of what is happening with the Starship. Delivery of large parts of future SN1, SN2 Starships in past few weeks have enabled SpaceX to finally start working on SN1, which will rise fast in coming weeks. It is not clear if SpaceX will build the SN1 in the outdoor or it will be all built undercover in recently constructed hangars. The rate at which SpaceX completed two test tanks in a record time, indicates to me at least, SpaceX will be completing Starships at relatively fast pace. Much faster than what we've seen with the or Mark 1, which took, what, four months to complete? This won't be the case with the Starship SN1. It is quite likely SpaceX will have SN1 ready in seven to eight weeks, if it's to believe what Elon Musk said about testing SN1 in late March. However, it is not clear if Starship SN1 will be built out in the open or all will be done undercover in recently built hangars. I'm of the opinion it won't, due to rather strong winds and weather not being most conducive to outdoor construction, but it would be a massive bonus for the community, including myself, if SpaceX did build Starship SN1 out in the open. As I've said before, it is quite unlikely Starship SN1 will be used for orbital flights. I'd like to be wrong, but something tells me SpaceX won't risk it. They'll go with Starship SN2 as orbital test vehicle, and SN1 as suborbital test vehicle. Looking at the bright side, first off, SpaceX will rapidly put together Starship SN1 and start testing it so they can tweak designs here and there. From recent tank pressurization test, the tank reached maximum sustained pressure of 7.1 bars or 103 psi, which is 18% more than the operating pressure, which is around 6 bars or 87 psi. Elon Musk says Starship prototypes will need to begin orbital testing flights at 7.1 bar. The speed at which test tank was built and yielding such impressive results gives SpaceX hope they can achieve better results with relatively minor improvements to welding conditions and the manufacturing precision of Starship rings and domes. SpaceX can reliably build Starships and super heavy boosters to survive pressures greater than 8.5 bar, which is around 135 psi, guaranteeing a safety margin of at least 40%. Even a minor improvement of 6% would give Starship a safety margin of 125%, enough in the eyes of most engineering standards, to reasonably certify Starship for orbital test flights. If Starship's SN1 does perform orbital flights, work on Super Heavy should start really fast, which isn't the case. Boca Chica expansion will see Super Heavy facility added, but this will take at least four months. The reason why I think Starship SN1 won't see orbital flight test anytime soon. Work on Starship SN1 has commenced. From Elon Musk's tweet, we can assume it will be either in mid to late February when work on Starship SN2 should start or should commence. However, priority right now is Starship SN1, which finally was given the green light and work has started. SpaceX did test two 9 meter tanks in relatively short space of time, within 10 days of each other. Something tells me SpaceX will finish Starship SN1 just as fast, perhaps with the next 
eight to maximum 10 weeks, we might see first Starship SN1 ready for testing. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Links in the description. By the way, before you go, please check out my friend's YouTube channel, Spaceship Mania. He makes these awesome models of Starship, which you can buy at his shop. Also consider subscribing to his channel, helping him reach even greater audience. Thank you very much.